Hello guys, it is Shivam here. Welcome to our brand new video where we are going to simply teach you how to create a responsive UI design for your login and sign up page by using Flutter. So do not forget to hit that like button and show your support by hitting that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos we upload on this channel. Now let's get started. But before we move forward, I want to introduce you to App Crafting. So this is a startup started by me. So if you are looking for the app for your business or resume, we are going to make a budget friendly app for you. You can simply fill this contact form and can send us the requirements to get an awesome app in both Play Store and App Store. You can find the link of the app crafting in the description box. So now let's move and we'll develop this login and sign up page for our app. So here you will see that I have used a image in the images folder. So I've simply created one images folder and I've simply pasted one of the image file in the images folder. Now here to get a image from any of the images folder, if you have followed my old series, I am telling the old series because I have already made 13 to 14 apps before on this channel. You can simply follow that or I will paste a complete playlist link in the comment box. You can simply follow it from there and can add some of your apps to your app bucket list or in your resume, right? Now let's move and in the Perspect ML file, first I need to simply call our images folder name so that I can use all the image that I have saved in the images folder. Yeah, so I simply call our image folder name as you can see here. Now let's move to the leap folder and we'll simply create a new folder name which is pages and inside the pages folder I simply create a new file name which is login.dart. So first I'm going to simply make the UI of our login page. So I will first import the package by using material.dart and will write a stateful widget name which will be the login. Yeah log in something like this yeah now we can simply write a scaffold body container child and a column something like this now once we have written all this thing now as we have added the image that we need to simply show in our login page at the top so i'll first pass the background color to our login page so we'll pass background color colors dot black yeah, so let's move to the login page so that I can show you what all code I am simply writing over here. So I'll simply call a login page and we can remove this debug banner by just passing debug show check mode banner to false, something like this. Now let's move to the login or dart. And as I told you, I want to simply show the image at the top. So for that, I'll use image.asset will pass images folder name and the image file name, which is sign in dot png. Yeah. So this is the image that we are going to use for our image in the login page, right? Now here I'm going to match the color that I have passed for the image so that it can fit my background screen color. Yeah. So this is the color code that I'm going to simply provide for our background color on this screen. Now, once we have done all this thing, now in the login page, I am going to simply show the welcome text over here. So for that, I will just pass a text widget and in the text widget, I'll write welcome, something like this and will pass a style, text style. Now in the text style, I just need to pass the color, which will be color, colors dot white, something like this. And I need to simply pass a different shade. First, I need to increase the font size so that I can see this text clearly. So let's pass 30.0 and font width will be font width dot w500. Yeah, something like this. Now I need to bring the text something over here. So I'll just need to pass a cross and we'll pass cross cross axis alignment dot start and we can pass some padding over here. So for the padding, I'll just do one thing. I just use the column widget here again and we'll wrap up with a padding widget and in the padding we'll just write edge inset dot only from the left we need to provide the padding 20.0 or oh, let's provide 30.0 yeah now i need to also increase the font size up to 34 will be okay i guess now i need to simply change the color shade of the white color so i guess it is okay now once we have shown the welcome text now i need to just show the 
login text below this text so i'll copy the text widget will simply paste it over here and we'll just rename to login something like this i need to use a cross again here so we'll use cross cross access alignment dot start and i'll change the color to white so pass colors dot white so for that i just need to use remove a constant and here i'll pass colors dot white and i need to increase the font size up to 45 i guess and we just need to pass font weight dot bold yeah so this is a login text and a welcome login now in the login page first i'm going to simply show the email text field where the user can simply enter their email and a uh, email text with a email text field and the icon yeah so for that i just need to copy the text widget here again we'll simply paste it over here and we'll just rename the text to email something like this now i need to lower down first the color so color will be lower down something like this and i'll just need to pass w500 first and here i need to pass 30 or let's pass 20 20 is okay now i can use the size box like height 20.0 20 i guess i need to provide uh, enough space let me check what would be so i think so 90 will be okay or if not then we'll simply change it later no worries about that so after we have shown the email text i need to show the text field so i'll just use a text field over here now here you can see the text field line now here first i'm going to pass like a padding from the right position also so we'll pass right 30.0 yeah now here i can simply pass a decoration a input decoration now hint text the hint text i'm going to simply pass like inter email and i'm going to pass the hint style and color to our text so i'll use a text style color and the color will be colors dot white something like this to enter the email maybe we can lower down the shade or it is okay i guess it is okay and we need to show the icon over here so for the icon i'll do one more thing like here i will use a suffix icon or prefix icon it is a suffix or prefix i'm getting confused between suffix and prefix let me see what will fit over here so i'll just write a suffix icon something over there over over yeah suffix icon icon icons dot email yeah so this is the icon this color will be colors dot white sorry colors will be colors dot white something like this so here you can see the icon now once we have done all this thing i can simply show the password so for that i need to copy this thing we'll simply paste it something over here will decrease down the height up to 20 or let's pass up to 40 i guess and we'll need to simply change the text to password and we'll just write enter password over here and we need to also change the icon to password yeah something like this yeah so here you can see that we have shown the two text field to enter the email and the password now i'm going to simply show the forgot password text over here so for that i'll just do one thing i will do one thing like i'll pass a row children and in the children first i'm going to do one thing like here i'll just use a text widget for the text widget i need to copy the text widget we'll simply paste it something over here and we'll just need to write forget password forgot password not for forget forgot password and here I need to bring the text something to the right side of the screen so i'll just pass main main access alignment dot end to move to the text to the right side of the screen i'll use the size box height let's pass 20.0 something like this yeah now we can simply change first i lower down the font size w500 is okay i just need to pass the customized color code so let me see that the color code i'm going to use over here yeah so 
the color code will be 0xff we'll paste this color code so this is the color code i'm going to use over here now once we have done all this thing now we need to add some navigation so that i can simply navigate to the sign up page and back to the login page yeah so for that i just need to create a row over here again so i'll, I'll row use a row widget and in the children i'll just pass and container and in the container i'll just need to pass like a uh, decoration a box decoration now the color i just need to pass the color which is colors dot white yeah and here i'm going to just pass a child sorry i don't know how the recording stops so i didn't do many much thing over here as you can see that i've simply created a two buttons so the sign up button will be execute when the user will press to the sign up button they can simply sign up in the app and and through the login they the details they have simply filled over here they can log in and the sign up button will navigate to the sign up page not they will sign up in the app through this details this is a login page and this sign up button will help the user to navigate to the sign up page i know that i haven't created the sign up page till now so i'll create the sign up page but before that let's move and let's provide some spacing so that there will be a spacing between this text and the button yeah so i'll use the size box and we'll pass the size box height let's pass the height up to 40.0 something like this and let's i think so let's pass 60 over here so now here let's move and let's create our sign up page so let's move to the pages folder and we'll simply create a new file name which is sign up dot dart and first i'm going to import the package by using material dot dart and we'll write a stateful widget name which will be the sign up yeah sign up sign up something like this now here i just need to pass a scaffold and in the scaffold i'll just pass a body container a child and a column and a children yeah so once we have passed all this thing now as we are going to use this same graphics in our sign up page and the same color the thing will be almost same in the sign up page just there will be a like we are going to add three section or you can say a four section of like name email password and confirm password so these are the four text field that we are going to simply add in our sign up page yeah so here in the sign up page i need to copy all this thing and i'll simply paste it over in the sign up page because as i've told you that the thing will be remain almost same and we just need to add some of the text field to execute the function yeah so I'll simply paste the scaffold function and here i'll just pass a sign up page so i'll just pass sign up yeah and we'll simply hot restart the app again so this is a sign up page i guess it is okay why didn't we get a graphics till now yeah so this is a sign up page now here in the sign up page i will just remove this text widget from here and we'll just just pass a sign up over here so we'll rename the login to sign up something like this yeah i guess it is okay yeah it is okay now once we have done this thing i just need to add some of the text field so i'll copy this text field and we'll simply paste it something over here and we'll just rename the email to name and we'll write enter name and we'll pass a icon which is a person icon something like this yeah so this is the text field that we need to simply add over here for the sign up page and as i told you that there will be one more text field for the confirm password so i'll copy the text field here again we'll simply paste it over here and just need to pass confirm password like this yeah i need to remove that thing i don't need a forgot password so i'll remove this forgot password from here yeah and there is lot of space i don't need this much space so i'll just pass 50 over here and here once we have passed all this thing uh here i need to simply show the sign up button so what i'm going to do that i will remove this container and here i'll just rename the login to sign up something like this sign up yeah and we'll just center by using a center main axis alignment dot center i can pass this i just don't need this much space let's pass 40 yeah and there is also a space i can remove the space 
I think so it will look cool. Yeah. Now here I'm going to simply pass a text like I'm already a member or if you want to pass like already have an account login. Yeah, you can pass both the text. So I'm going to think I'm thinking that I will pass already have an account login. Yeah. So for that, I just need to use a row widget here again. And in the row widget, I'm going to simply pass a children. Now in the children, I'll just pass a text widget. So we'll copy the text widget from here and we'll simply paste it something over here and we'll just write already have an account already have an account then just log in. Yeah, so I'm copying this text widget here again. We'll simply paste. Yeah. And here I'm going to pass colors dot white and font width will be simply bold. And here I just need to pass like login. Yeah. So now it's look good. Main main access alignment dot center to center this text. And I'll pass size box. Let's pass the size box height 0.0 something like this i guess it is okay now we can simply navigate to the login page so we'll wrap up with a gesture detector in the on tap method i'll just pass navigator dot put material page root and material page root and we'll simply navigate to the login page so i'll just pass the login page something like this now I need to simply copy the navigator function from here and we need to also paste in the sign up thing. So I'll copy, pass the gesture detector and in the on tap method, let's pass this and we just need to pass a sign up, something like this. Yeah. So now we can simply navigate to the login page and we can navigate back to the sign up page. So these are the login and sign up design that I have simply make for you all. I have tried to keep it simple as I can because I know that if you are learning the flutter for the first time, you can simply follow this login and sign up page and can know about a widgets and how to use a widgets in a flutter. Now, this is not the login and sign up page design that I have simply made for the first time because I have already made like three to four times before on my channel a login and sign up design from the scratch. So you can simply follow that designs also because that are some of the awesome design that you can use in your app also. Yeah. So hit that like button if you haven't hit that like button till now. So you are support by hitting that like button and hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos we upload on this channel. Until then keep coding. Keep having fun. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.